Hey everybody, it's, well it's me, it's uh, Monday, right? September 6th, I think they call it Labor Day. The day that no one works, or often work, but happy Labor Day to you, but we continue. And I read from the, Paul's letter to the Colossians, just one little piece here. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake. And in my flesh, I'm filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of, of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church. Leave right there. Now, this is much deeper than I want to share what Paul's saying, but his sufferings for, for the Christians that follow quite extensive, quite deep. It's sharing the sufferings of Christ, what Christ died on the cross, so it doesn't replace it, or not that Christ's sufferings were enough, but that the church suffers along with Christ and Paul's representative of that church. But when I talk about it, I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake. I think when we suffer for someone and we do it somewhat readily, or glad, in a sense, quote, gladly, it really is an expression of our love and care for them, that we want to do something. And to prove our love, it's, it has to cost. If it's easy, well, not much to it. I just give a little, little tiny example of plays, not much. When I go home, I was home back in August, right? Home for a little bit, two weeks and two days. My bed is the couch. And so that's why I slept for the, those t two weeks or so when I was home. And normally I could take a couch a, day, a night or two, but two weeks, it becomes a little much, but, and push my back. But I was glad to do it. My mother thanked me for an oath. I know the coach, you're not sleeping well. Actually, I slept well, but she thought I wasn't, so. But in that little, little tiny way, it's an expression of my, uh, what I did love for my, you know, for my mother. Because my sister is a three-minute car ride or I can walk to my sister's house and now that her kids are gone, she has a spare bedroom. So I could have slept in a, you know, bedroom, in a bed, right? But that would not be the same. I would never do that. My mom wants me home and so that little quote is a little sacrifice. I understand. But it's an expression of our love. And so for others, are we willing to sacrifice? as an expression of our love and care? And are we willing to sacrifice for God whatever he demands of us as well, that we join them with all the church together with the sufferings of Christ? So if you love someone, you're willing to suffer for them. God bless you.